GHS 39. the most fine gold changed the stones of the stones of the sanctuary are poured out in the top of every street the precious sons of zion comparable to fine gold how are they esteemed as earthen pitchers the work of the hands of the potter 
Even the sea monsters draw out the breast. They give suck to their young ones. The daughter of my people is become cruel, like the ostriches in the wilderness. The tongue of the sucking child cleaveth to the roof of his mouth for thirst. The young children ask bread, and no man breaketh it unto them. They that did feed delicately are desolate in the streets. They that were brought up in scarlet embrace dunghills. For the punishment of the iniquity of the daughter of my people is greater than the punishment of the sin of Sodom that was overthrown as in a moment, and no hand stayed on her. Her Nazarites were purer than snow. They were whiter than milk. They were more ruddy in body than rubies. Their polishing was of sapphire. Their visage is blacker than a coal. They are not known in the streets. Their skin cleaveth to their bones. It is withered. It has become like a stick. They that be slain with the sword are better than they that be slain with hunger. For these pine away, stricken through for want of the fruits of the field. The hands of the pitiful women have sodden their own children. They were their meat in the destruction of the daughter of my people. The Lord hath accomplished his fury. He hath poured out his fierce anger and hath kindled a fire in Zion, and it hath devoured the foundations thereof. The kings of the earth and all the inhabitants of the world would not have believed that the adversary and the enemy should have entered into the gates of Jerusalem. For the sins of her prophets and the iniquities of her priests that have shed the blood of the just in the midst of her, they have wandered as blind men in the streets. They have polluted themselves with blood so that men could not touch their garments. They cried unto them, Depart ye, it is unclean, depart. Depart, touch not. When they fled away and wandered, they said among the heathen, They shall no more sojourn there. The anger of the Lord hath divided them. He will no more regard them. They respected not the persons of the priests. They favored not the elders. As for us, our eyes as yet failed for our vain help. In our watching we have watched for a nation that could not save us. They hunt our steps that we cannot go in our streets. Our end is near, our days are fulfilled, for our end is come. Our persecutors are swifter than the eagles of the heaven. They pursued us upon the mountains, they laid wait for us in the wilderness. The breath of our nostrils the anointed of the Lord was taken in their pits, of whom we said, Under his shadow we shall live among the heathen. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwellest in the land of Uz. The cup also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken and shalt make thyself naked. The punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. He will no more carry thee away into captivity. He will visit thine iniquity, O daughter of Edom. He will discover thy sins. Chapter 5 Remember, O Lord, what has come upon us. Consider and behold our reproach. Our inheritance is turned to strangers, our houses to aliens. We are orphans and fatherless, our mothers are as widows. We have drunken our water for money. Our wood is sold unto us. Our necks are under persecution. We labor and have no rest. We have given the hand to the Egyptians and to the Assyrians to be satisfied with bread. Our fathers have sinned and are not, and we have borne their iniquities. Servants have ruled over us, there is none that doth deliver us out of their hand. We get our bread with the peril of our lives because of the sword of the wilderness. Our skin was black like an oven because of the terrible famine. They ravished the women in Zion and the maids in the cities of Judah. Princes are hanged up by their hand. 
the faces of elders were not honored. They took the young men to grind, and the children fell under the wood. The elders have ceased from the gate, the young men from their music. The joy of our heart is ceased, our dance is turned into mourning. The crown is fallen from our head, woe unto us, that we have sinned. For this our heart is faint, for these things our eyes are dim. Because of the mountain of Zion, which is desolate, the foxes walk upon it. Thou, O Lord, remainest forever, thy throne from generation to generation. Wherefore dost thou forget us forever, and forsake us so long time? Turn thou us unto thee, O Lord, and we shall be turned. Renew our days as of old. But thou hast utterly rejected us. Thou art very wroth against us. you wouldn't see. 
see you as a fool, but I did say like me. You shall live in his power. Yeah. And I did say, my ways confound the world. I didn't say you never taste the bitter kiss of death. Praise the Lord. Uh -uh. I said praise the Lord. Tonight, the Lord will load you with blessing, power, authority, the goodness of God upon your life. Today, something will happen you'll never forget. Are you there? Why are you there? Father, we thank you today and we bless your name. We glorify you. You are here for everyone. Our blessing is here. Our redemption is here. Everything you have for your people, pour down today in Jesus' name. And I pray that Lord, you turn every life around. What we have never seen what we have never had what we never possess today we will have we will see we will possess in jesus name confirm your miracle power upon everyone we well, thank you lord because we know it is done in jesus name we pray i am blessed Say it for yourself. I am blessed. Your blessing will not pass you by. God bless you. You can sit down. 
Today we're still talking about the cross and I welcome you tonight to the wonder of the cross. I welcome you tonight to the blessing, abundant blessing of God upon your life through the cross in Jesus name. I'm talking to you tonight on something special, it's special for you, it's special for me and it's special for everyone. Abundant life, shout abundant life. If that's what you are going to possess, shout abundant life. Abundant life through Christ's death on the cross. Christ's death on the cross. That's what provides everything. Everyone, everywhere, in every nation, and in every locality, abundant life is coming to you tonight. And when we finish the message, and we pray, the, the heavens will open. Blessings will be showered upon you. You will not leave this place without your miracle in Jesus' name. Come with me now to Romans chapter 5. And I'm reading from verse 6. Romans chapter 5, verse 6. For when our yet without strength, in due time, Christ died for the ungodly. You might have heard that verse before, but many people, they read the Bible, they hear the Bible, they don't understand. When we well, were yet without strength, I asked somebody, when are you going to come to Christ? Oh, I want to become better first. I'm too dirty now. I'm too weak now. I'm too helpless now. I want to pump up myself, have strength, have power, have righteousness, turn over a new leaf before I come. They have never heard that when we were yet without strength, when we were yet without power, when we were yet without hope, when we were yet without energy, when we were yet without a new life, when we were dirty, when we were sinful, when we were weak, that's when Christ said, I have come. If you can save yourself, it will not come. If you have the energy by yourself, it will not come. If you have succeeded by yourself, it will not come. When? We were yet without salvation. We were yet without the truth. We were yet without redemption. We were yet without emancipation, freedom. We were yet without godliness. We were yet without any treasure. We were yet without healing. That's when it came. For when we were yet without strength in due time. This is your time. Tonight, this is your time. In due time, Christ died for the ungodly. Some people think that he died for those who are perfect. And when I'm perfect, I will come and then present my perfection before God and say, Lord, I'm perfect now. Can you see me? If you are perfect, how do you need salvation? Some people think it is when I am upright, I am righteous, I'm a church righteous man, and then everybody is pointing at me, it's a good man, it's a godly man. Then I can come to Christ and say, Christ, hello, can you save me? You don't need salvation then. He died for the ungodly. He died for the ungodly. We are ungodly. We're sinful, we're bad, and Christ died for those who are bad. Bad people, when you go through Christ, you will go to heaven. Good people, when they go through themselves, their own goodness, I am okay, I am good, I am righteous, I am up, I'm perfect, you will go to hell. But when you understand, Nothing in my hand I bring. Simply to the cross, 
I cleared. Christ, rock of ages, cleanse for me. Let me hide myself in thee. Let the water and the blood that flow from your wounded river side be of sin, the double kill. And then you come like that, you're ungodly, he will save you. I said it will save you. That's why I come tonight to tell you about life, abundant life, fruitful life, righteous life, happy life, healed life, great life through Christ's death on the cross. You'll be a partaker. Why are you there? It will come to you in Jesus' name. For when we well, were yet without strength, in due time, Christ died for the ungodly. If you're ungodly, he died for you. If you're sinful, he died for you. If you're helpless, he died for you. If you're dirty, he died for you. He will hold your hand today and pull you out of that well of dirt and defilement. He will clean you up. He will present you to the Father. He will say, Father, look at the trophy of my death on the cross and then the father will hold you spiritually he'll say welcome home i have a special place in heaven for you he has a special place in heaven for me god bless you it will be done three things we're looking at in the message today number one agape love demonstrated on the cross that word agape means divine. If the love of God is the kind of love nobody has ever tasted on earth until Christ came. Agape love demonstrated on the cross. Number two, angry lions destroyed on the cross. Do you know every angry lion after your life pursuing you? Christ destroyed them on the cross. And when you come to Christ, the greatest of all lions, and the smallest of the lions, and the medium lion, the local lion, the village lion, the tribal lion, and the imaginary lion, all of them from the cross, the thunder will come from the cross strike at the lion chasing your life and you are free i am free number three abundant life distributed from the cause have you ever seen good things being distributed some of us we go to school Appearance do not have the money to buy exercise books and all the other things and then the government provided all those papers exercise books pencils and pen and as we're coming everyone we're just line up and then that from the government is distributed to everyone the government of heaven has sent me to tell you that everything you need has been provided by the government of heaven for your soul, for your spirit, for your life, and for your family. And there is distribution tonight. Distribution tonight. That's all right, my sister, yours is coming. My brother, yours is coming. My son, my daughter, yours is coming distribution from heaven abundant life sorrow will pass away crying will pass away all the heartaches everything will pass away abundant life distributed from the cross let's go to number one number one agape love demonstrated on the cross I was reading to you Romans 
chapter 5 verse 8 let's look at that again for when we were without strength in due time christ died for the ungodly look at verse 8 in verse 8 it tells us for god commendeth his love toward us he commendeth his love toward us toward you when god looks at you he's not angry at you when god looks at you he's not frowning at you when god looks at you he's not saying that's another wood for the fire never he looks at you with the eyes and the mind and the heart of love and god commended his love toward us extraordinary love heavenly love agape love divine love a kind of love that had never been god loves you who am i talking to god loves you and when you come that's why we're not afraid when we're coming for salvation will he save me of course will he receive me yes will he have mercy on me yes will he cleanse my sin yes why but god commended his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners not sins while we were yet sinners not clean while we were yet sinners defiled rejected by men criticized by people put down and pushed away from every good society while we were yet sinners christ died for us he died for you i said he died for you and you understand it's not that you know i'm trying to reduce this i'm trying to take away that the way you are right there at this moment that we come and the lord in his agape love will receive you in jesus name look at verse 9 in verse 9 it tells us it says much more than being justified by his blood being justified not by water not by oil not by traditional religion being justified not by the ceremony you can do by yourself being justified by his blood we shall be saved from wrath from anger from indignation through him no anger upon your life anymore there's no wrath waiting for you anymore all you have to do is to come to christ and the moment you come to christ all the wrath and the anger and the judgment will be absorbed and then you're free no wrath on your head no wrath in your life no wrath anger of heaven around you and then uh, when it comes time to go to heaven wrath will not meet you love will meet you because he has agape love demonstrated on uh, the cross and then in verse 10 uh, it says for if we, when we were enemies we were reconciled to god look at that when we were enemies we were reconciled unto god there was a man that made himself an enemy of god he did bad bad things terrible things the man was cruel he wanted to crush the church of god he went everywhere anywhere he heard that somebody belonged to christ he will take him and he want to put him in the prison and then to show that even as enemies god does not keep enmity with anybody and i want to tell you tonight he doesn't keep enmity with anybody here 
is waiting for you and is calling you is saying you are the one having a threat for god a threat for the bible he threat for christ and then christ came to saul you see the believers could not go to him if they went to him he'll say ah you're a believer you believe in christ you are the one i've been looking for he'll take him and then put him in the prison and when the man was so much of an enemy then the lord himself went to him and said so so why are you an enemy why persecutest thou me who are you lord he said i am jesus somebody shout jesus he saved that man i'm happy to tell you tonight he will save you Amen. he will forgive you Amen. look at the bad things that man had done and then the man said what shall i do now he didn't say lie down roll on the ground he didn't say go and fast for 40 days he didn't say what will you do all those people you have tormented go back to them all the wheels you gave them let them give you the whip back the punishment you gave to other people the atrocities you did to other people the world will do it to you and then after that when you have suffered enough i'll forgive you he said no i've forgotten everything are forgiven everything now go to this place i'll send one of my trusted disciples to you and he will assure you of my love if he did that to Saul of Tarsus tonight he'll forgive you all the ache and everything you have done that was painful and you said i did this i did that forgiveness will come did you hear that testimony today from bael sir did you hear let me see your hand if you heard the man was not a good man but instead of suffering for his sin look at what god did god forgave him and gave him a new life and there was no wrath even the courts that should have said uh -uh, you're one of those people that did that then you are in for it and he himself said i thought they would have hanged him or they would just give him life imprisonment tonight that man is free and tonight you're free forgiveness comes to you salvation comes to you because when we were enemies we were reconciled to god by the death of his son much more being reconciled we shall be saved by his life saved by his life the love of god coming to you today demonstrated on the cross of calvary will be demonstrated in your life today Saved. 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 That love will turn your life around. L look at Ephesians chapter 5. Ephesians chapter 5. I'm looking at verse 2 there. In Ephesians chapter 5, looking at verse 2, it says, And walk in love, as Christ also has loved us and has given himself for us as an offering and a sacrifice to god for his sweet smelling savor it says now see what christ has done christ has loved us and he has given himself how it's like somebody is being approached by a deadly terrible dangerous person and then you are walking like this and then the fellow who is dangerous and deadly and evil he shoots something at you and then somebody comes in between you 
and the arrow from the enemy the arrow of judgment and the arrow of punishment was coming and christ stood between us and the arrow the arrow gets to him the arrow never gets to us that's what christ has done for you and he says christ has given himself an offering and a sacrifice to God for his sweet smelling savor. And now he says, because of what he has done, you walk in the gratitude of the love of God. If God so loved me like that, I will love God. If God spared my life like that, I will love God. If Christ has had mercy on me, even though I was bad, very bad. I will now love other people around me. The offense I committed has been forgiven. Therefore, anybody who has offended me too, I will walk in love. You are now a lovely brother after Christ comes to take residence inside you. And you are now a lovely sister after Christ has come and taken residence in you. And now you walk in love. I walk in love. I don't walk in anger. I walk in love. You will not walk in anger in Jesus' name. You'll not walk in retaliation anymore in Jesus' name. You will not walk in violence, wanting to hurt other people anymore in Jesus' name. Because Christ has loved you and he has given himself he has given himself for you as an offering and a sacrifice to God. And that sweet smelling savor unto God, that sacrifice is accepted. I come now to point number two. Point number two, angry lions destroyed on the cross. Angry lions destroyed on the cross. Do you know, since man was created there is a personality called the devil called satan let me tell you what happened god created him as a beautiful shining great angel he was in heaven he had all those angels in heaven under its authority and heaven there's no suffering there's no pain there's no problem and the lord put him in a very good place and he knew if he had continued like that forever and forever he will be enjoying the presence and the glory of god but something came to his mind he said this position I have, I'm not satisfied. I'm going to lift up my own throne above the throne of God. And then he began to converse. He brought politics to heaven. And he began to say, we're going to rebel. I'm going to fight against God. I'm going to lift up my throne above the throne of God. Will you join? Will you join? Will you join? Lo and behold some angels joined him and then god cast him out of heaven and has created a place held fire for him and his angels and then god made man wanting to show love unto man adam and eve and then satan like a lion sneaked in and said i have missed heaven Adam and Eve and all the people that God has created, they will also miss heaven. If I don't go there, they will not get there. That's why he came like a lion, angry, that had been driven out of heaven. And he wants everyone, every human being, not to get to the place that he lost. That's why he came and Jesus recognized that. And Jesus said, I know the power of this lion is angry and is want to destroy everyone. That's why he said before he destroys the whole of humanity, he came to the cross and died. And that death of Christ finished Satan. 
gave him a spiritual knockout, not down, knock off. He knocked him away and he said, It will not destroy your life. Satan will not destroy your life. Angry lions will not destroy your life. All those people that want your dead. All those messengers of Satan, they want you dead before your time. Heaven says no. Heaven says there's a decree that you are precious in his sight. Where is he? Precious. Brother Precious, where are you? Sister Precious, where are you? Because you are precious in the sight of the Lord, he stopped Satan and destroyed that angry lion on the cross for you. I said for you. Look at this in First Peter chapter 5, verse 8. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, your enemy the devil as a roaring lion walketh about seeking whom he may devour you see people don't understand when satan or the messengers of satan gives you he calls it switch but then he hides poison inside he wants to destroy you. He says, this will make you high. This will make you bold. This will make you courageous. If you drink that sin, nobody will be able to stand before you. Actually, if he had called it poison, you will not want to drink. But because he said it will give you power, your muscles become like the muscles of somebody who is lifting weight and then you'll be as strong as anybody can be and then he says let me give you this one this one original when you take this and you light the fire and you put it there and you smoke it it will go to, you will even feel it in your brain you'll strike your brain like this and shake your brain and anywhere you go after that time you'll be the king on the road and the king in the forest and the king everywhere is giving you poison he wants to destroy you he doesn't want you to know it says now if you are going to be bold go to that woman the wife of so and so but you know if you are a chicken if you are weak if you don't know what to do you know everybody will be looking at you down there but if you can take the bull by the horn and approach the wife of that man and have something with her then when you do that you'll be surprised energy will come to you you'll be bold you'll dare anyone is giving you poison that's why it says be sober be vigilant because your adversary the devil as a roaring lion what cares about seeking whom he may devour but christ came and Christ destroyed him on the cross of Calvary. For who? I said, for who? Look at Colossians chapter 2, verse 14. Colossians chapter 2. I'm reading from verse 14. It says, blotting out the handwriting of ordinances that was against us. You know, every time were taking the poison from the devil and we did something wrong there was handwriting against us that man has joined the devil that woman has agreed with the devil that boy has given in to satan the enemy that girl has given in to satan and writing against us which was contrary to us and then christ what did he do he took it out of the way nailing it to his cross every bad thing you did that associated you with the devil the heavenly father because of the death of christ he has taken everything and nailed it to the cross 
I thought you would say amen. amen. Outside location, anywhere you are, I want you to say amen. amen. Look at verse 15. In verse 15, and having spoiled principalities and powers, he scattered principalities and powers. He knocked out principalities and powers. He overcame principalities and power. He destroyed principalities and powers. Now, they will not be on your way. Now, they will not double cross you. Now, they will not disturb your sleep. Now, they will not disturb your progress. Because that angry lion and all the angry lions referred to as principalities and powers, the Lord has scattered them. He made a show of them openly, triumphing over them in each victory. Triumph, conquering. Power for everyone in Jesus' name. Luke chapter 10. I'm reading from verse 18. Luke chapter 10. We're reading from verse 18. Here Jesus said, I beheld, and he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. He has fallen. Your enemy, he has fallen. Your adversary, he has fallen. Your destroyer, he has fallen. The one who said, if he doesn't get to heaven, you too will not get to heaven. He says, he's not getting there. You are not getting there. He has fallen. His word, his intention, his purpose, his pursuit, wanting to get you and saying uh, you will not move forward and he was going to stand in your way and then the lord pulled him down and he has fallen and he says my son my daughter go ahead when you receive jesus christ as your personal savior and when you say he is my lord he is my savior everything that stands in your way that the devil puts there everything will vanish away and then and then look at verse 19 look at verse 19 and behold i give you power when satan falls as you receive the lord as you accept the lord as you say yes it's my savior yes it's my lord then the lord will say don't go yet i give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions those are the messengers of satan that he sends across go and test him out and go and bite him and go and sting him i'll be coming after but go and do this first and as they came in the day in the night from the bush from the forest from the river and he called themselves whatever name you have power somebody there i have power i give unto you hold on if you are far away from him how can he give unto you if you don't turn and face him and say you're my savior you're my lord i receive you i accept you all my life is for you how can he give you power if you turn yourself and you back him you say i don't want to see the face of jesus i don't want to come to jesus i don't want his forgiveness if you turn your back unto him i will he give you but when you turn and you face christ and you say you are my savior and you say you are my lord and you say you are my redeemer i have you have a throne in my heart coming coming and set you in my life as you face him like that you'll say stretch out your hand spiritually you stretch out your hand you raise up your hand you put power in your life behold i give unto your power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over and over 
and over do you have your bible there and over all the power of the enemy finish i said finish it's done it is done over all the power of the enemy that's what people who run away from christ that's what they are missing those who don't give their lives to christ what that's what they are missing those who say i will think about it all the time you are thinking about it shall i come to christ shall i don't come to christ you're missing the power over all the power of the enemy but as you say today today i don't want to waste any moment any minute anymore now i have power over all the power of the enemy and look at this and nothing shall by any means hurt you nothing sing now nothing any potion any concoction they make in the depths of the river will not hurt you any decision any covenant they make in darkness deep darkness and they say this is for so and so it's a waste of time it will not get to you somebody went to buy padlock and then when he bought the padlock he said i am after so and so i'm going to lock his success lock his power lock is held lock every good thing and then uh, they mention your name and then they lock that thing and they throw it in the sea waste of time no padlock will determine your destiny no utterance of the enemy will destroy your destiny if they come in the day you overcome if they come in the night you overcome you are so peculiar and so special in the hand of god nothing shall by any means hurt you as you give your life to christ and this is the night the moment you say yes lord that promise is fulfilled the moment you say lord i come i belong to you that thing uh, will happen and then uh, nothing no cancer no tuberculosis no hypertension nothing no diabetes nothing urinating 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 and they tell you you are going uh, you are going uh, you are going uh-uh uh you are not uh, something they are selling at their bazaar and then going 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 gone no you are not ready to go yet that diabetes will be healed in jesus name they say this this and this but thank god nothing 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 shall by enemies hurt you now look at verse 20 here in verse 20 notwithstanding in this rejoice not that the spirits are subject unto you he says don't stop there i'm healed don't stop there i overcome evil spirits don't stop there i overcome the angry lion don't stop there i am a victor over all diseases don't stop there but rather move on now move on rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven my name is written in heaven when you give your life to the lord and say lord here am i totally now spirit soul and body i belong to you the lord will write your name in heaven if there is anything bad connected with that name they call you by a particular name and in your language that name signifies 
bad luck, evil, curse, yoke, traditional, whatever. That thing is connected with your name. When that name is written in heaven, all the bad, bad things connected with your name and connected with your background, territorial spirit, water spirit, mummy spirit, whatever, all those things will be expunged and extracted and taken away and your name, pure and perfect, will be written in heaven and then angels will be watching over you. The people who are not born again, that's what they mean. They don't understand that this is what God will do. Now that you understand, tonight you belong to Christ in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's come to number three now. Number three is abundant life distributed from the cross. Abundant life distributed from the cross distribution is coming now eternal life will be distributed to whosoever will call on the name of the lord abundant life happy life healthy life successful life a raised up life progressive life will come to you now as you give your life to the lord in jesus name now john chapter 10 we're looking at verse 10 john chapter 10 verse 10 the thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy that's the devil the adversary the lion the angry lion he comes and he comes to steal the little joy you have he wants to steal that away and the little peace you have he wants to steal that away and eventually to kill and to destroy it's like you know the thieves come and they are at the door and while they are trying to break the door or break the window then high level soldiers powerful people and to the chief they come and immediately they come all those people trying to break the window break the door they all run away from your house i didn't hear a good amen there christ said the thief is there he comes to steal and to kill and to destroy he says but don't worry about that i am calm i am calm i am calm it comes to you it will not you'll not do like a thief and break the door you have to open the door yourself i stand at the door and i knock if anyone will open the door that's you tonight i said that's you tonight i will come in and then look at what he'll do i am calm that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly tonight life is available for you tonight eternal life is available for you tonight abundant life is available for you tonight salvation is available for you healing is available for you health is available for you and victory over every enemy is available for you it's coming christ has come and when you accept him when you receive him that eternal life will come look at um, look at ephesians chapter 3 verse 20 ephesians chapter 3 we're looking at verse 20 it says now now when is your salvation now when is your deliverance when is your abundant life when is your happy healthy life when is the power from heaven going to come upon your life now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above 
all we ask or seek according to the power that worketh in us a power is coming in your heart right now in your spirit now that anything that is standing before you to hinder you from having salvation eternal life abundant life that power will knock them up your life in jesus name and then in verse 21 it says unto him be glory in the church by christ jesus throughout all ages this abundant life throughout all ages world without end that is until the end and beyond the end this life is available for you once again i congratulate you that you came at the right time tonight when god through christ is distributing abundant life and eternal life to everyone and whosoever will call on the name of jesus will be saved whosoever comes unto me i really know wise cast out you are that whosoever joy has come for you tonight you are that whosoever eternal life is looking for you wherever you are and when you indicate and you say yes lord i accept you you are my savior you are my lord all my guilt all my condemnation all my sin you wipe away when we were yet without strength when we were sinners christ came and he died for us and he died for you i said he died for you and tonight the joy bells of, of heaven ringing on your behalf and tonight is that night is the night of your salvation of your blessing of your abundant life and the moment you yield unto the lord it will be done i'm talking to somebody there it will be done the old life the weak life the trampled life the dirty life the condemned life everything will pass away and a new life will come unto you there today are you ready what are you it's bowed and eyes closed it's bowed and eyes closed the lord has located you where you are he said i've been looking for you i want to exchange your downtrodden life i want to exchange your pitiable life with the life of heaven with eternal life and as you yield yourself to the lord forgiveness will come salvation will come and the goodness of god the grace of god will come in your life you're giving your life to the lord tonight and you are ready for that agape love the love of heaven demonstrated on the cross of calvary for you in particular raise up your hand wherever you are i say lord i'm here i accept the message you have sent to me i receive the love you have shown on my behalf lord i'm here i give myself to you where are you raise up your hand yes there on the left god bless you there in my frontier god bless you over there on the right far at the back god bless you anywhere you are now you are hearing over the radio you are hearing over the television or you are on the facebook or you are uh, anywhere you are connected with us praise the lord abundant life eternal life has come to you today raise up your hand if you are raising up your hand please stand up please stand up stand up for your salvation stand up for your healing stand up for your deliverance stand up for the joy stand up for the love of god to be brought unto you right now stand up stand up wherever you are you stand up stand up for jesus like soldiers of the cross and you're telling the lord here i am here i am here i am i will not belong to the devil anymore i will not belong to 
to darkness anymore i offer myself i surrender myself unto the lord my savior my redeemer raise up your hand and stand up where are you where are you the lord is still waiting for you don't miss your chance tonight of the salvation of god don't miss your chance tonight of eternal life coming upon you as you're standing up you tell the lord i forsake my past i throw away my past life i turn away from that dirty life defiled life and i turn unto christ and i receive him as my savior once you receive him he receives you too he doesn't allow a minute to pass and then his forgiveness comes his salvation comes his new life comes unto you tell the lord as i come i'll not go back to satan i'll not go back to sin i'll not go back to my old ways anymore I receive Jesus as my personal savior. In Jesus name we pray. Father, in Jesus name we thank you for those who have come. And you said anyone who comes you will not cast away, you will not push away, you will not reject. You always receive everyone who comes in repentance and total surrender all these who have come to you lord and have said bye bye to the past bye bye to evil bye bye to their sin they come that christ will be their savior be their savior tonight this very moment in jesus name as we're distributing eternal life abundant life to everyone who believes grant them eternal life one by one one and all in jesus name let the joy of salvation come into every heart right now confirm their salvation write their names in the book of life we well, thank you because we know it is done it is done it is done in jesus name we pray keep on standing the love of god is on you the favor of god is on you our counselors are there i say to us here will come now and lead us in this brief counseling time counselors please go straight now to the point write their names in capital letter be fast. Their phone numbers, their address, make sure you spread yourself everywhere, attend to them very quickly. Those who cannot write, you help them. Then, um, so they write their names in capital letter make it very clear make it very clear there are phone numbers and as you write the phone numbers check them up then their address home address please make it very clear then don't forget breakfast with jesus tomorrow morning by 7 a.m and you give them the card those online you do the same thing if you're online follow the screen the link on your screen now Please, you can send your details through the WhatsApp number 
0915444-9263. The number again, 091-5444-9263. Please counsel us, be fast. Make it very clear, write your name in capital letter, their phone numbers, 11 GDs. Please check very well the house address. Then those coordinating, get ready. You collect from them the slips. Please, let's be fast. The people at the gate side, make sure you reach them. At my left hand side, make sure you have reached those at the corner there. If you are following online and you give your life to Christ, then visit the link on your screen now. Fill the form so that we can assist you. If you are listening on the radio, you just gave your life to Christ. Send your name, phone number, and email address, your SMS, or WhatsApp to the number plus 234 915 444 9263. As you do that, God will bless you. Please, on my left-hand side, if you are true now, can you signify? Okay, let's be fast. Before me, if you are true, wave your hand. Okay. On the right hand, if you are true, wave your hand, signify. Let, let's be fast. If you are true, remain there. Just stand there. Before me, if you are true, wave your hand. Okay. On my right hand side, if you are true, wave your hand. Okay. Get ready now. Your miracle is there. Can you stand up as, as we welcome our Father in the Lord to the pulpit? Praise the Lord. My miracle is here. Come, say, Lord, God bless you. Stand for the people where the people are. And then after the prayer, stay by them. Encourage them. Let your faith join with their faith. And as we encourage them, the power will be manifested. The miracle will be distributed to them, everyone tonight, in Jesus' name. If anyone is blind, as you stay by them, don't leave them alone, you show them something to see, they will see. Yeah. Deaf and dumb, you speak to them, they will hear. Yeah. And in do so, a lame at the power of the Lord is sent forth and distributed everywhere they will receive their own in jesus name and then as the miracles happen you will come out with them tonight i say tonight power upon your life healing coming to you 
deliverance coming to you and every power of the angry lion broken away from your life in Jesus name once again you need a miracle healing deliverance you raise up one hand then you lay the other hand where you have the challenge anywhere you are in any congregation all over this country other countries every country or you are by yourself just do as you are told from here and your miracle will be confirmed even tonight heaven is ready god is ready for you it's coming now you hold it and grab it and, ex and embrace it as it comes distribution everywhere father in jesus name you are god that cannot fail your power cannot fail your love cannot fail you love everyone it is not your will that the devil was steal and kill and destroy christ has come our redeemer our healer we welcome you lord we pray that you distribute healing deliverance to everyone even now in jesus name lord one by one one and all without exception i pray that your power will penetrate every life now drive out every sickness drive out every infirmity all the diseases heal them in jesus name from the top of your head to the soles of your feet the healing virtue of the lord move now and heal you completely insanity i command you come out madness i command you come out all those spirits of affliction walking about in the body i command you you are destroyed and dislodged come out in jesus name incurable disease cancer ulcer fibroid anemia diabetes hypertension internal problem spiritual problem be healed in jesus name that blind devil there i command you come out in jesus name glaucoma come out all eye disease be healed that as your people open their eyes now the blind will see clearly those who are deaf and dumb i command that dumb spirit the spirit come out in jesus name confirm that miracle everywhere that we're hearing the sound of the voice now perfect healing miracle deliverance total recovery confirm it in every life brother you are healed sister you are healed my boy my son my daughter there you are healed in jesus name everywhere there is connection connect everyone with their healing and miracle thank you lord because i know it's done it is done in jesus name we pray make sure you check up yourself the power is released the healing has been distributed it has come upon you you'll give your testimony tonight you are connected